laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when we start these because I always feel like we've already been talking for 20 minutes, so it's weird saying hello, but we're saying hello to everybody else. Yeah. Because we did say hi to each other. Because that's what we do when yeah. we see each other. We try to. We try to be polite. And... To each other? Yeah. Yeah. Somewhat. No. Maybe not. But we'll try to introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're still trying to train ourselves to do that. Yes. So, hi. Welcome to the Naughty Nitwits. I'm Leslie. I'm Michelle. Coming to you from Oregon. Yep. Oregon. Yep. yep. Oregon. Or Oregon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any states you have a hard time pronouncing? It seems like Oregon is one of those where people, you either get it right or you get it wrong. But I, I can't think of any other states where I feel like people say it wrong. Oh, I bet people say a lot of it, like Arkansas. Yeah, some people say Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, because that's Or um, what was another one we were joking about the other day? Hmm. Um, New, New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's a city. But yeah, yeah. I, I mean, just thinking of things that people... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm don't sure. Know. I'm sure. I, I'm sure. I'm sure I pronounce a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's states people can screw up. I just can't think of any off the top of my head right now. But I feel like Oregon is one of those where people tend to can can pronounce it wrong. So I think they do it because they want to. Maybe making maybe. fun of it. That's true. And some Oreg Oregonians say like to put. Now I'm going to start saying it wrong. They have those bumper stickers that say Oregon and it's G U N. You know, cause they yeah, like, they like the guns. But that would have been a long time ago. Or yeah. way east. Okay, true. Yeah, true. I don't think you'd find many of those around mm -hmm. these days. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't... still see them. Well, you're down in Clackamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm in a similarly. I mean, I joke about her being in Clackamas. She's definitely in a more um, cosmopolitan no. area than I am. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I would think you'd see more bumper stickers yeah. like that than I would in Clackamas. But I see them in Clackamas. Maybe so. because most know. of the driving around I do is in Washington, mm. since I'm in the That's very true. upper northwest corner of Oregon. That's true. And, uh, yeah, that like makes pretty sense. Pretty much everything I do is in Washington. So. That is true. But that anyway, true. thanks for joining us. Yes. We know it's been a while. Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. because my daughter was here. Totally. Yes, Renata, yes. our Marine, was home for yes. two weeks leave, and it was so awesome. Uh, sure, it was too short, of course. Yeah, it was. Um, mm. I... You know, I'd been doing pretty good with the whole eating thing. Mm -hmm. I'd lost mm -hmm. like six or seven pounds. Yeah. Well, needless to say, they're all back. But uh, I don't even it regret it. It, yeah. it was worth it. We just ate what we wanted. We it's ate out all the time. Yeah. I'm not saying you can live like that. Right. I mean, you were on vacation in a I way. Was, yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally. And uh, so it's worth it. back at it now. But yeah, mm -hmm. it really, it was so nice. That's awesome. You know, mm -hmm. didn't do anything spectacular. We went mm -hmm. to the coast one day. We did you know, just some things, but just having her here. Totally. That's it's, almost better because it I feels so. like just normal life. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like every night she'd be on the couch with, mm. we put this table there and she was just doing puzzles mm -hmm. and I was knitting or crocheting. And, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's the perfect, that's what you want. Yeah, yeah exactly. It was mm -hmm. great. So That's awesome. And I'm sure she enjoyed it just being, just being, yes. not having to do anything Exactly. Anymore. Yeah, that's awesome. So now she's that's over awesome. in Maryland at Fort Meade, mm -hmm. and uh, her orders there are for four and a half years, even wow. though she's only got she enlisted for five, and mm -hmm. she's been in a year and a half. So math wise, it doesn't add up. Yeah, they'll figure it out. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to going and visiting mm -hmm. her. Like yeah. I'm thinking next fall. That'd be awesome. I mean, I want to see her before then, but yeah. I, I really would like to lose some weight before I travel. Yeah, you know, yeah. just because. Why? <laughs> Oh, well, everything's easier. True. You know, I'm just wondering what. Okay, like being on an airplane. Yeah. Your standard seat on an airplane, mm. they're smaller than they used to be. And yeah, I mean, I fit in it fine. It, yeah. It's not like I don't fit. No. But when I flew to Texas, I was, you know, I mean, it wasn't, that's a. It's not as comfortable it's not as it could comfortable. be. Yeah. When I flew to San Francisco, I went first class mm -hmm. and it's so much more comfortable. So you just need to fly first class. I'm not spending that kind of money on, <laughs> like to go to California, like to, from here to San Francisco, first class, it only made it, you know, maybe $200 yeah. instead of 100, you know, right. 300 instead of 200. But when you're talking yeah, flying back, yeah. it's like thousands. So deal, yeah. I'm not that, I'm not that wealthy and I'm yeah. not that, um, so. I'm not that extra. Yeah. I need to do that. <laughs> But, but it would be more comfortable. And, totally. you know, you just have, you, I would just feel better about myself, you know, Definitely. 
Yeah. And that gives me some time, but, uh, to go over there in the fall totally. would be, be fabulous. Gorgeous. Be gorgeous. Now, will she have any more time off to come back here between now and then? I think so. Then? I okay. think she might get some time. At so Christmas. I was wondering if she'd have more freedom now, a little bit more. Now yeah. That she's kind of stationed. If yeah. she'd have time off. More. Well, yeah, because like if I go see her there, mm-hmm. she can go off base. She can oh, stay good. with me in a hotel nice. if she wanted. Whereas nice. when I saw her in Texas, right. you know, she couldn't leave before this time. Mm-hmm. She had to be back by this mm-hmm. time. It was. Yeah. Um, okay. But I think she had more freedom when she was in Florida. Mm-hmm. But even at that, it's, I think, yeah, even more now. So. Yeah, that's great. That makes it even more exciting to go yeah. visit her then, too. Yeah, and there's so much back there I want to see because I love history. Yes. So what yes. an awesome place. Oh, to, totally. And that gives her time to go figure it all out mm-hmm. so that when I go, she can just take me to the exactly, best places. You know? <laughs> exactly. All the great places to eat. Be my, uh, my tour guide. Totally. That's the best. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah. And so, in the fall, the weather will be yes, gorgeous, too. I mean, exactly. that would be way better than Florida. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. For what I like. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But, yeah. but you have the biggest news. I mean, I can't say that my no, getting to see Renato was like the best. Huge. huge. But yeah. do share. Well, I passed my national boards, which I didn't expect to get because the teacher kept telling us she was like, expect it to take up to 15 days. And she goes, don't call the school until it's been at least 15 <laughs> days, business days. And. So I took the test um, a week ago Friday, and then we got the results. Bob texted me. I was driving, and he was like, congratulations, you passed. And I was like, passed what? What are How you did talking he know? about? He had seen the email. I got oh, an email saying okay. you passed. And so I really quickly checked, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, that was like three days. Or wow. Like two business days. So maybe they were really bored. or You were that good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. But, <laughs> but I was thrilled, and then I passed my state. My mom came in. I had to do four successful draws. Oh. Um, two in the median area and then two on the hands successfully so the teacher had to watch you you had to have you know consecutive as well like no you had as many chances as you wanted you only had so many butterfly needles you had eight so if you didn't do it with an eight you didn't pass um but you had (laughs) as much time as the teacher had time for so she wasn't going to just sit around and wait all day while you get a successful draw she said if time runs out then you don't pass but um so when I got to class, I did, my mom, her appointment was for like 940 and class started at nine. So I wanted to get it over with. Yeah. A lot of kids were waiting. Kids. I say kids because <laughs> I was the oldest in the sure. class. But a lot of the young people were like waiting till 12, you know, to have their person come in. And I was like, I just want to do it. And so at nine o'clock, the teacher only had one person testing. And you could pick people in the class too. So I looked at this one girl and I was like, Anna, can I, can I draw from you right now just to get one test done, you know, one draw done. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. So I told the teacher, I said, can I go ahead and, you know, just do Anna? And she goes, yeah, that's fine. So I got ready, did her, I think I did her median uh, vein and um, got it right away, passed. So the teacher marks you, she puts four marks on you if you pass, you know. (laughs) So that was done. So I felt like, okay, I got blood on the first draw, you know. And so then I waited for my mom to come. So my mom came early. And so then I did my mom's hand and I did not get blood. So I was bummed, but I was like, it's okay. It's only one butterfly view stuff. I got seven left, you know. So then I did my mom's other arm because at that point I only needed three because I already did one successful arm draw. So I did my mom's arm, got blood, went back to the hand, got blood, went to the other hand, got blood, passed. Nice. And I, so I was the first one in the class to be done. So it was cool because everybody was just like, yay, congratulations. Screaming, you write your name on the board. Oh it's like, and I just felt like the rest of the day I was just like, I'm done. You're done. I can just, yeah. so, so I volunteered. I was like, if anybody needs practice, because they could be practicing. So I had people, my hands were so purple and blue. Because <laughs> I don't have good median veins, but I have very good hand veins. Oh. So people were poking me all over the Look place. Look at mine. Yes, you have just very that, good, you have don't good you veins. Don't you want to just you get in there veins. and get you some do. blood? You have nice veins. <laughs> so I was just kind of, a, you know, letting people poke me all day until it was their turn. And But we were just cheering for everybody. It was fun. And Aww. then the next day was the test. And uh, I came home after the test and I was like, I could see it going either way. Like, I think I passed, <laughs> but then I may not have. Because like, that, that was just like a written test? Yeah, okay. 115 questions. Oh. And you have to get a... Um, can't remember what it was and 15 of the questions she said don't count for you or against you oh. so I was like that's kind of weird okay so I stayed almost the whole entire time for the test because you could leave as soon as you were done but I did it and then I went all the way back through it for you. changed a couple of my answers um so anyway now I'm just actively looking for a job got my resume done paid a friend of mine to do my resume oh good my, good Micah <laughs> oh nice. yeah, I reached out to her I was like 
you're good at this stuff. If you're willing, I'll pay you. Like, would you do it? And she was like, yeah, just send me this and this and this and I'll do up a resume for you. I was like, perfect. So I got that <laughs> done, got on LinkedIn and there's a lot of jobs coming up uh, for phlebotomy, but, oh, good. but I need to um, have my sister show me how to apply because oh. I tried applying last night to a couple and it's like, I have to link my resume from somewhere and it's just, oh, it's I'm all, not it's computer. A, yeah, it's a thing now. It is. I, so she's going to help me. But um, I was kind of bummed because I met with a friend of my mom's the other day who is a phlebotomist and she said, oh my gosh, Leslie, we have a position right now, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. So it's part time, but you get full benefits. She was wow. like, we would, I would love to have you. That'd be awesome. And it's at a hospital. So you see everything, which is kind of a dream job in a way because you really get the most experience dealing with babies, adults, geriatrics, wow. like emergency room, like all that stuff. And so she messaged her boss and she said, you know, I have somebody, you know, and she goes, well, we really want, you know, three years experience. She was like, okay, she doesn't have that. And then the boss was like, well, one year experience. <laughs> and she was like, she's fresh out, but she's more mature than some people, yeah, you know, exactly. age wise. But she said they have to have at least a year. So uh -huh. I didn't think I would get that because it's like, that's what I ultimately want, but it's, it would be very busy and like, you well, let's you know that the position's out there. Totally, totally. Yeah, so another totally. one will be. So too. I'm looking for lab jobs or um, Red Cross even. I don't really, to me, I just want to get some experience under my belt. Once I have yeah. that, then I can do more what I want. But I'm just excited. So yeah, for, for sure, this week, exciting. I'll apply and see what happens. And But I can't wait to draw blood again. I'm just like. Did you bring your stuff? I didn't. Oh, I was I, right here, right I now. I can't. I can't. So that's the oh. problem. I, that's all of us students were talking. We we're like, this is the last day we get to draw blood until we get a job. Like, we can't. It's not like you can keep practicing something. Why not? I can't buy needles and practice on people. Oh. You're not allowed to. Oh. That's the thing. Uh, a couple kids were like, oh, on Amazon, I think you can buy. You know? And the <laughs> teacher was like, no, druggies would be doing that all the time if they knew that they could buy needles, you know. Oh. So we can go into the school and practice still, but okay. it has to line up with when they're teaching, when they're actually starting to draw, then I can go in and practice. So I'm going to do that if I don't get a job here in the next week or two, I'm going to go in because I just want to keep getting better at it. Um, but yeah, but it was exciting. I was so excited to pass and be done. Yeah. But well, I missed school because it was fun. Oh. I liked it. It was, it was a lot of fun. And I know I love it now, so I'm glad because I feel like... I know I love doing it, and so that was mostly what I was worried about. I thought I'd start the school and then hate it and be like, no, this is not for me. But instead, I went through it and went, oh, my gosh, I love this. I can't wait to do this. Yeah, that's awesome. So, so we'll see. I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. So thanks for everybody's congratulations and stuff. That was, like, overwhelming. I'm trying to respond to all of them, at least with a heart <laughs> of some sort. But there were so many, and I appreciate you guys because I felt like, I couldn't wait to tell everybody on yeah. Instagram because I was like, people that have watched the podcast, they know that I'm going through this. So it's cool to be able to tell everybody and share it with everybody. So, yeah, you had your own cheerleading Yeah, crowd. it was fun. It was so fun to hear all you guys' awesome comments and people's connections. People were saying, oh, look at this company, which I have. I've looked at a couple of them. So those are oh, some good. of them I'm going to nice. be applying at. So I'm just excited to get started and get better at it. I just can't wait till I'm good at it, you know? Not there yet, of course, obviously. Well, but I can't yeah, wait till well, I can get good at it. Cool. Yeah. Anyway. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I found, I, I went on to find you the perfect congratulations card. Oh. Nice. And I found it and nice. I ordered it, but it's coming from the UK. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It might be a while. I was thinking I might be a professional long woman. before. Yeah, it could be a congratulations on a new job. That's right. By the time it right. gets here. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Or That's on your retirement. Funny. Yeah. Exactly. All depends on the, on the mail. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. So just hope I get a job soon. That's my only thing. I'm not worried about it. I think I'll find something, but I just am anxious to get it. Get yeah, because you want to get doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. So. All right. You guys are up to date now with yes, our lives. Yes. life. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So uh, what have you been knitting on? What have you been working on? I haven't been working on much. So. Well, you've been busy. I mean, I have been working, but it's okay. only one project. Oh. So I feel like a Well, same. Thing. No, because I've done. You're more the, exciting, though. You have other you have things that you're actively working on, though, don't you? I have a room full of things <laughs> that, that I'm not actively working yeah. on. Yeah. 
I have the things that I've been working on mm -hmm. the last several episodes, and that's what I've been doing. That's good. But that's good. I've been working on my bubbles, nice. my Stephen West bubbles cardigan. Fun. How's it going? I am almost to the point where I've got the back caught up with the front, okay. and then I will join it under the arms, okay. and it'll just be one you know, then, yeah, right. Cause, okay. And that'll be nice. It's going to make for longer rows, mm -hmm. but having these things hang here is just a total pain in the, it's not that big yeah. a deal. You're good at that kind of stuff. See, to me, that would just stress me out. Like I've seen you do multiple projects where you've got like a needle here and, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> but you're good at that. Well, I mean, you don't have to have it be so obnoxious <laughs> as this. You could put it on yarn. Yeah. But true. you know, to me, I'd just rather have them the yeah, not just yeah. yeah, it makes me feel like I'm yeah. it's it's building up my tolerance skills. It does, it does. That's good. That can serve you in all kinds of ways. Right. Life, exactly. You know? So anyway, it's I did beautiful. struggle with this the instructions to me about transitioning from you're looking at the front panel okay. to the back okay. was very confusing. Like mm -hmm. it was just not to me, the direction, and Stephen West is great. He's not, he doesn't usually leave anyone hanging. Right. So I'm probably an exception to no. the rule, but it was just confusing to mm -hmm. me. But with the help of some Instagram friends, oh, I got wow. through it and I love it. I did, I I started it and I, there was something about it I didn't like. So I ripped it out and did it again and was happier with That's it beautiful. the second time. And That's really pretty. I'm very happy with gorgeous this, it's just a fun project it's so pretty i mean it's gonna be gorgeous when it's done like it's gonna be one of those like it's not just a cardigan you know what i mean it's a cardigan with a capital c <laughs> like it's gonna be awesome thank you yeah um what was i gonna ask you about it um i don't remember mm -hmm. I'm really like, I love working on all the different colors and I think it's beautiful like this, but I think when I get that board, you know, the, the rest of it on there, it's going to really be even that much more beautiful. Oh, I know. I was going to ask you. Okay. All those ends on the inside. That oh. doesn't stretch in. Okay. Um, most of them, mm -hmm. I've done the weave and Steven thing. Okay. Oh, so you can just snip, snip. I think that, you know, some of them, maybe I'll decide to do just a little bit more okay. um, because they're not. I don't know how far over you're supposed to go. Yeah. And I might decide to do a little bit more. Okay. But yeah, after I block, after I wash it and block mm -hmm. it, I'll be able to snip most yeah. of that oh, off. Oh, good, so. good, good, good. Yeah, because okay. that would, if those were all ends oh, that gosh, yeah. needed to be, it would be. A little daunting. Uh, the Weave and Steven thing, it's super easy, as you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well it holds up to. I was wondering that too. You've done because it. I honestly, I was working on something and I. I don't remember why I needed to, but I, I was able to very easily unravel it uh -huh. and get it back out. Oh, it was on one of my shawls. I've had to do it several times when I've, yeah, like a couple of these bubble rows, mm -hmm. I've, you're, they're supposed to be six rows and for whatever reason oh. I've done eight mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, that doesn't work. So okay. I have to go back and by yeah. then I've already done the, so yeah, I mean, it's. So it makes you wonder like how. How good is this, you know? Yeah, and just when you look at it, it's like it just, they don't really look like they're woven in that great. Right. You, you can, know, and you can see them too. Totally. Which, but if it's on the inside, who cares? Yeah, but, I don't necessarily care about yeah. that, but I just want them to stay. I don't yes. want them coming. Out. I guess, but that's one thing I really like about crocheting mm -hmm. is it's so easy to bury those ends. It totally is. It totally is. <laughs> Or if you're using a natural fiber too, they just kind of felt together oh. eventually. Like this, you know, I don't have to worry because it, it'll felt together. Same with this one too. So that helps, I feel like. But if it's just a, yeah, a super wash, you know, then yeah. you, it's like they're a little bit slicker and you feel like, oh. And I always knit with slick yarn because yeah. I don't like totally, the, totally. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I that is something that's kind of a kind of a bummer because I do a lot of things that I see sweaters and stuff mm -hmm. I love the stitch definition mm -hmm. and the like the look of the rough yeah. the more rustic yeah just because they just look more um like they hold their shape and yeah they, yeah I just I just don't yeah. know how they feel well I wonder if with superwash if it would just be better to like like I don't know how much how much how many stitches does Stephen West say I don't recall I thought he'd said like 14, okay. which is a lot. That is a lot, but I'm wondering if that's why, because like... But I might be wrong too. He yeah. might not have said that. For some reason, 20 stuck out in my head, but okay. that might well, be too much. That's even worse. So I know. Yeah, but so it could be. It's like, maybe that's why. I don't know. Because yeah. it needs to be woven. 
Well, I finished my one half and half wrap and nice. washed it, which I was almost done last time, right? And then yeah, you I were really close. Finished it. I'll have yeah. to do the right side. Okay. So it's all done. It's huge. It's beautiful. And it did bloom. It sure did. And I did add some conditioner to the water, so this is probably about as soft as it gets. <laughs> it's not bad though. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's not squishy. super soft, but it's not super scratchy. Right. Right. Yeah. It's like a good happy medium. So it's huge. I um, have not really used it much because, of course, it's we've had too yeah. hot of weather. But I, um, but it's nice because it's so big you can use it as like a blanket. Like if I'm knitting and I'm cold because we have the air conditioner in full blast, <laughs> you can kind of cover up those days. on your lap. You know, I know. I, I'm kind of looking forward to those days again. But of to course, days. to cool days, just where oh, it's I love cooler. Cool days. I know. Yes. I'm like, I'm kind of tired of being freezing in the house. Which I'm thankful. I should yeah. be thankful. To That's what I was laughing at is because, you know, I always used to keep our house so cold with our air conditioner. And um, now we don't have central air. We've got units, but yeah. it's not the same. It's not. And when it's 100 out, it's you like... You feel it a little bit. Yeah, you feel it. Well, and it's funny because I was babysitting um, Gwenny and Maggie last night because it was my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, oh, Liz. Happy so it was birthday her birthday Libby. yesterday. So I watched them while they went out to dinner and stuff. And her house is always freezing. Because she keeps it like 66 or something. Oh, nice. So I like had a sweatshirt on, stretch pants, and she was kind of, she was like, you're wearing a sweatshirt? I was like, well, I'm always cold in your house. That's how so, the girls are here. They're always uh, bundled up. Yeah, so it's just kind of funny. But so anyway, then I started another half and half, which I'm almost done with. Let's see. But that's what I mean by I've been just obsessed with like only knitting. But on. we knew that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we knew that. it was going to be that way. So this is with the linen quill. Oh, okay. Oh gosh. Which I love. Oops. I love the linen quill. I think I do too. In fact, I just ordered a sweater's quantity of linen quill. You know what's interesting hmm. is to me this. Now mm -hmm. this doesn't have like the soft silky feel mm -hmm. of the stuff that I use. Right. But I really like how it's it feels. Soft. It's not. Yeah. It's not at all scratchy. No, it's very soft and has this halo, which I, I love. really like. This you would love linen. I mean, linen quill is just. It's magical. It's. I love it. Yeah, it's four hundred thirty-nine yards, and it's. Um, I'm gonna write that. Yeah, it's fifty percent fine Highland wool, and then thirty-five percent alpaca. Oh. And fifteen percent linen. So the alpaca is probably where you're getting that nice soft, and the the linen's not. It's not bad either, but fine Highland wool. But they have so many colors and um, it just slides off your needles. Like it's just like butter, like especially compared to that. Like that's more grippy, but yet I loved knitting that too. It's just different. Yeah. But this is just, it just slides off your needles. It's just. And did you say this is called the half and half? Yes. Okay. Half and half wrap. Right. Yep. I know I linked it before. Oh yeah. Every, one, everybody's but... knitting it, so I'm not the only one. But anyway, so I only have, because if everybody's familiar with the pattern, I only have this much left to go wrap in turns before I'm done. So that's Oh, nice. nice. That's so exciting. That's not You're... much. Yeah. So I should finish it hopefully this next week. I super love those colors you're using I together. Do too. They're great. I do too. I don't remember the colors. Which I'm... one's this one? This one's peony pink, but I don't remember what the other one is. I don't have the tag for it. And I still have, um, it's supposed to, you're supposed to have three skeins of each color. Well, I used, I need to weigh what I have left of this color because I, I almost feel like I almost have like a full skein. Oh, nice. Almost. So, but it's just going to be so, like, if it's not even washed yet, it's going to be yeah. very warm and just, it's going to drape nice. It's going to. Yeah, it's very nice. So this is the yarn that the pattern calls for. And so I wanted to try knitting it with what they called for. And I definitely love it. And the thing is, linen quill is $18 and something cents a skein. So to me, it's That's, very affordable. Yeah. So I Especially because you said it's like 400 and something yards yeah, per skein. Yeah, yeah. And I just ordered three skeins of it for a sweater, 439 yards. Yeah, so to me, it's like if you're going to knit a sweater or a huge shawl like that, like it's more affordable than if you were to buy. I mean, it's still expensive because you got to have six skeins for that. But you don't use all of it. But you, Or, you know what, like this one I just mixed. So you could even, if you had a bunch of linen quill extras, you could just, or, you know, leftovers, you could just do stripes or whatever too. Yeah. So. And um, that's cool that the ones that you did, you've got one that's striped. Yeah. And then the one that's more half and half, yep. I guess. Yep. And the thing is, you can like, um, depending on how you wear it too, you can show different parts of it. If you, if you want to just see the stripes, if you want to. Just see the pink. You can have. You can put it in half and just mostly have the pink showing. Well, is so. that one that you just showed mm -hmm. also striped nope. the way that one is? Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. Nope. This is just half and half. Okay. Yep. 
So I would love to do one with black. So I, it's funny, people have said when they knit the half, they want to do another one and people have done multiples and I can see why. Because it's just very uh, therapy. I don't know, therapeutic, but it's very calming and just meditative. I don't know. Mm. It's, I love it. And so I, I could see definitely knitting another one. But I'm anxious to knit a sweater with the linen quilt because I think it's just going to hang nice. And um, so anyway, but it's funny. I, well, I'll talk about it later in our acquisitions, but... Um, Anyway, so okay, yeah, jumping ahead of myself. That's all right. That's... What else are you knitting on, my dear? I well, I started the last time I talked about doing spiral socks, mm -hmm. and I was referencing the the pattern that Kate Celine had on her mm -hmm. website because it was the the leftovers from her minis that I was thinking I would mm -hmm. make these sp spiral socks. Well, I didn't understand once I got to looking at her pattern, I didn't understand it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, but. And it's me, not her. So yeah. I found a different, oh, those are so cute. a different pattern, and and I made my own little chart. Wow, good for you. <laughs> Just because it's easier to. Cute. But anyway, so those there. That's so I've only gotten that far. I think actually mm -hmm. I had started one mm -hmm. from the other, and I ripped that out and mm -hmm. started over again with this pattern because I understood it better. So what's the name of that pattern? And who's it by? So it's not the Kate Celine pattern, it's a different pattern? It, right. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it was, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, it's okay, I'm sorry I, I asked. I, well, I know. I think that, I think that the spiral pattern is basically the same no matter who, it's just how it's written out. Okay. Because you're going to achieve that spiral the same way yeah. no matter whose pattern you're doing. True. It's just that the stitch count the way the Kate Celine one was written, like I felt like there was some instruction from it missing mm -hmm. that maybe everybody else knew already, okay. and I just didn't know. Yeah. So I had to find one for the more uh, unspiral oh, worthy type person. Well, remember those spiral socks I did that yeah. were just tubes? I remember it threw me off at first. I was like, I don't understand this. And okay. I did it wrong, and then I had to rip it out. And then finally, once I got it, then it was like, okay, I get this now. Okay. And it, but I was just like, what is it? Is it just me? Or, but right. I think it was just... Yeah, so I wonder if that's similar. I think it's similar. Yeah. It's just that, like, I understood it up to a point, but but it, the count of stitches just yes, didn't work. And exactly. So I was just confused, but I did. I found the one that is just that. So if you're, lo and this was free, I didn't pay for it. So if you're looking for um, it and you would like a picture of this, just let me know because okay. that... And really, once you do it for a while, you really don't even need to. Yeah, then you get it. Yeah. Once you get it, yeah. it's, yeah. But, like, now that I haven't done this in a while, mm -hmm. I'll totally have yeah. to refer to this because I don't really remember. That's but, I mean, it's 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 obviously simple. It's not like it's complicated. Yeah, yeah. Like everything else, if you know what you're doing, it's not hard. Exactly. <laughs> so, are you doing the Weave and Steven on that, too? With no, okay. I, I am doing these kind of, like, as I... As I go, because what I'm doing with these, these are the Kate Celine minis mm -hmm. that I had ordered. And after I do a square for my blanket, mm -hmm. I just put, then I come in here and do a block on oh, nice. here. Yeah. And then I'll just weave in the ends. Mm -hmm. So it's not overwhelming because I'm not mm -hmm. doing it every day. Yes. It's like, you know, whatever. A strip or two at a time or yeah. whatever. Those yeah. are really cute though. And I think are you going to have a fun. match? No. Or they're just going to be scrappy yeah. socks? Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so, yeah, they are. They're super, super They're very cute. cute. Every time I see socks, I'm like, I want to add socks. But then when I get home, it's like, I don't I got other stuff going. Well, I just do yeah. my linen, my, yeah, yeah, half and half. But I need to do other things. I was looking through my bags today, and I'm like, okay, Leslie, you either need to rip them out if you're not going to touch no, them. No, you don't. Or, I you know. know what? No, I was thinking about this, yeah. believe me, because... Uh, you thinking about my problems? Yes. <laughs> well, my problems, <laughs> your problem. problems. Right. Yeah. Yeah, what's the difference? <laughs> so when Renata was here... She was mm -hmm. sleeping in my yarn shire, and mm -hmm. I bought a futon and had it in there. And so we're sitting in there on the bed, looking at my one of my bookshelves mm -hmm. of yarn. Yeah. And then on the bottom, I have all these project bags with projects mm -hmm. in them. So I'm like, oh, I wonder what's in this. One. So I start pulling them out, and like mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, there's a, there's a lot of projects here. Mm -hmm. But I thought that's okay because it's like 
if you want, like say sometime you just need a break from whatever you're doing, but yeah. you don't really want to start a whole nother project. Right, right. So you have options. See, and I think that's fine with like, at least for me, like with socks, it's okay to have those just sit there. But like the shawl that I'm knitting for Jesse's mom, my daughter's boyfriend's mom, I almost don't even know if I like it anymore. <laughs> So I'm just well, like I can relate because you know that one that you did the Stephen West uh, slip, yes slip extravaganza or whatever yeah yeah I I Fantastic have stitch. Yes. Is that what it is? yeah yeah stitch I have yeah. so much of that done and it's just in there yeah. just waiting to be picked up again so that's why I feel like I feel like okay I I, I just know. don't think I love the colors together the yarn, the yarn colors I like individually but together I just don't know if I love it and so part of me is like. Maybe I should just rip that out and do a different shawl. I'm so there's a, it. there's a difference between not working on a project because you don't really love right. it. Right. Versus you love the project, yeah. you've just got these other things. Exactly. Because like the socks, I looked at the socks today and I was like, oh, I'm anxious to get back to that. Like, I enjoy that pattern or whatever. Yeah. But as far as the shawl, when I looked at it, it didn't make me go, oh, I got to pick it up I miss again. working on you that. You know, it didn't. Yeah. I was like, no. So... I just need to like, I feel, and this is the other thing. I was looking at our family room the other day and I was like, I have so many, like just basket over here, a basket over here, uh, project bags over here in this basket, basket of a bunch of projects here and then projects around. And I'm just like, I need to like organize this somehow. And I told my daughter, Emmeline that she was like, well, mom, you've got the back room that's supposed to be for your, I'm like, I know, but I never go back there because <laughs> she took the big screen TV out of there when she got oh. her wisdom teeth pulled. Oh. So she has the big screen TV in her bedroom. So there's no TV in that room anymore. So I never sit back there. <laughs> and if Bob's out in the family room, then I want to be with him. Right. So that room doesn't really get used a bunch. And so I'm like, why would I want to have all my projects back there if I can't see them? Yeah. So I don't know. I just feel like it's like, I need to just, go through and clean up everything and kind of reevaluate next what podcast I uh rebecca um uh, last week <laughs> Whatever my name is. i don't know uh is going to be telling us all about the projects that she ripped out i do and it's so weird i feel like mentally i don't know what is wrong with me but i feel like like i bought a couple patterns this wait let's dice let's let's dissect unpack that what's wrong with that me. you just yes, said please do <laughs> Because maybe you'll figure that it out. That is an open-ended question. Because I feel like I keep buying patterns. Yeah. And then I lose interest very quickly. Like, I bought a couple sweater patterns thinking, I can't, I want to get a sweater on the needles. It's been so long since I've knit a sweater. I want to do one. But I just can't seem to find that sweater, that one sweater. And so I buy patterns and then I go, hmm, yeah, I like it, but I don't love it. You know? So I just feel like, what's wrong with me that I can't just like pick a sweater and go, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm because sorry. you're not ready to start it yet, maybe. Maybe, but it's been a long time. And I, I like been doing sweaters. these big wraps. I know, but I like sweaters. Okay, well, you just said that you ordered a sweater's worth of that stuff. Do you have the pattern picked I do, up? but now I'm questioning, do I love this pattern? <laughs> but I'll be able to find a pattern for that yarn because uh -huh. it's fingering weight. You know, it'll yeah. go with a lot of things. But when I was searching through Ravelry the other day, I was like, nothing was like really gripping me and hmm. I was like what is wrong that I can't like I used to always go from sweater to sweater next sweater next sweater and now I just feel like things don't grab me as much I'm like what what is wrong that I'm not like I don't know so it's just weird not content I know <laughs> I feel like I'm like what is it? it's just weird to me because I like knitting sweaters I love knitting sweaters I want to have a sweater on the needles but I just can't seem to land on which one? That which one? Yeah. So, so is it because there's so? It, it doesn't sound like it's because there's so many. You just can't pick which no. one you want to do. It's finding the one that you actually want to stay yeah. committed to. Yeah. yeah. Well, just remember that eighty twenty thing that we were talking yes, about. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully one of these will my pan out. Yeah. Your blanket. My blanket. Pretty. See, I haven't done any squares either. Or, and I oh. loved it. I need to do squares. Had you gotten any borders on them? Nope. Oh, okay. no. I haven't okay. touched it. All right. No judgment. I mean, no shame. But I did start school when we yeah. last podcast, yes. right? So it was three weeks of school testing. Yeah. 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 Come on. Go easy on yourself. Okay. Because I'm yeah. just thinking, what have I and done? And I, with I my didn't life? do as much, even though, you know, in the evenings we still knit. And I don't really knit that much during the day but mm -hmm. I feel like I didn't knit as much while Renata was oh, here. Oh yeah, you know? totally makes sense. Yeah. And I don't even remember. I should probably start putting a marker on oh, here yeah, so cool. that I would know what strips I've added yeah. since last time. So I'm pretty brave. sure this end strip was not on okay. the last time. Yeah, it's so pretty. And I could be wrong. Just love it. Yeah. It's amazing. And... 
Voila. So pretty. I don't know about this one. I know. I'm trying to remember where you were. I'm like... <laughs> and I think I added one to this side, too. Let's see. Wait, is that the side I just showed? Or is that the side? I don't know. Um, I don't either. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Uh, maybe I didn't show. So if I'm showing the same ones again, sorry. Sorry. Right. If I'm showing new ones, yay. <laughs> I remember the yellow ones. So I remember you did a couple yellow ones. Yeah, and, but I, I got a yellow on both sides because okay. I've got that yellow. I okay. think I just showed this side. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it would be this side that I... And, you know, a lot of my colors are similar because... Oops, that's, you guys are looking at the wrong side. Oh. Not that it matters a ton, but... Uh, I love doing these. It's just so fun. Oh, it's beautiful. But, I mean, I still want to keep doing this because I would like to make it bigger. Yeah. Um, I think I'm at seven now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. So I've got 80 squares, and I'll just keep going for a while. Do you think you'll need, like, another 80, or do you think more than that? Like, if you want it to be a blanket. I know. I, know. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could measure and find out, huh? Maybe yeah, I'll just have it. to see. I yeah. did order more of the Miss Babs oh, okay. that I was using for the border and to join it. Mm -hmm. And someone had commented, I think, on our last video about how oh, this is an expensive blanket. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Mm -hmm. If I had that to do over again, mm -hmm. like if I'd have been thinking, I would have just bought like some nitpicks or something right, for, right. Yeah. for the border and joining it. But I had no conceptual idea of how much it was gonna take isn't that funny yeah. i mean it's it's so funny the little bit of planning we put into projects <laughs> i'm like oh i've got enough yarn we'll and you know, buy five skeins yeah. more and it's ridiculous but this will be my special blanket yes but so really i've special. really had fun doing these but it was time to branch out mm -hmm. so i still have to do these like at least one every couple days because i i'll start forgetting what to do mm -hmm. but I watched Bella Coco, mm -hmm. and look what I did. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? It's very cute. <laughs> it's very cute. I, so what's this going to be the start of now? Well, <laughs> I, I'm not sure. This is the Sunburst yes. Granny Square, and I used a little bit smaller crochet hook. Yeah. And so I was thinking, I have so many ideas mm -hmm. but i just want to crochet all these things i know isn't it fun it it is so fun. and it is really funny because for so long yeah. i just was yeah. not it just wasn't grabbing yeah me. but i think i want to i'm thinking of using we'll come back to this mm -hmm. i have some yarn that i think i might use mm -hmm. to make a bunch of different ones of these okay. so we'll come back to that at community i just service. love crochet because i feel like in the times that I've gotten really into crochet, it's usually during the winter when it's cold outside. I'm just sitting with it. It's just fun to play. Like, yeah. try it. Watch the video. Rip it out again. No big deal. It's try so it much again. easier for you that purpose. I mean? So you just feel like it's so forgiving. Like, yeah. Oh, I can just rip Joining it out. in new colors oh, is yeah. super easy. Uh, it's so not. It's just, it's fun Which I wasn't play. sure. Um, I feel like with crochet, I play more. With knitting, it's more, let's just, let's get this done. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so this wow. this is called the As We Go Stripey Blanket. And the mm. website is notyouraveragecrochet.com. Mm. And the gal's name is Hannah Owens. Okay. But anyway, it's free. Wow. And I was thinking this would be so fun because she goes through. Wow, that's amazing. I know, and she like. She goes through, even though these kinds of things I do better with video yes, tutorials, this can at least remind you yep. once you've watched the video, but it goes through for every different stripe. Oh it's got gosh. all these, all these tutorials oh. that, or at least picture so tutorials. So you have to send me the link. Yeah. Right. I was thinking, so I have all these different, my, all of this stuff that I'm talking about is sorry, <laughs> is very intertwined with my community service mm -hmm. because it's like, I can't get enough minis. I know. <laughs> I have way too many minis to start with and I'm acting yeah. like I don't have any. Well, all, the, all your skeins, you know, full skeins. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, it's freaking crazy. She's breaking down all of her full skeins. Yeah. 
gosh. You have no full skin. I'm not. That's my goal. I want everything in minis. I don't care what I'm going to make. I oh, want it in mini so skin funny. form. Minis um, are fun, though. I think it goes back to playing. It's fun yes, to play with minis. It is. That's. I mean, that's what's fun about knitting. Let's be honest. It's playing with all these different colored strings. And putting different things together. Yeah, so this blanket just, gorgeous. I think, would be so fun. Yes. Because it would be different all the time. Mm -hmm. I'd be, be learning, learning something new every yes. time, playing with different colors. And I mean, those Here's colors are better. amazing. That is gorgeous. I know, but I wouldn't be using those colors. You wouldn't. Okay. These colors? I would. No, well, I would like to, but I'm not going to buy yarn. No, no, I know I wouldn't either. But yeah, <laughs> the those. whole point is to use up some of my yarn that I have. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah. So that's not your average crochet. Dot com. Can I write that down? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Not so. You Here. just go to her website. Yeah, not N O T, uh -huh. your mm -hmm. average mm -hmm. crochet dot com. Dot com. And it's the As We Go stripey blanket. And it looks like she's got lots of things. I mean, I really haven't looked at her website that much. I just saw this pattern and was like, oh, I got to do that. But there's crochet patterns, tutorials, knitting patterns, tutorials. So and they are on YouTube or do, do you go right from her website? I don't to the know videos? yet. Okay. I. I'm not really sure. She's got, she's got, it says click here for PDF version mm. that does not include the step-by-step -step photos or click here for the mm. one that does have the photos. Nice. I don't know about videos, but you know, anything on here, you can find the video. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every stitch you can. And that's, what's been like, I've been a little bit, I pulled out this book that I bought a couple times ago. Mm -hmm. I oh, love, yes. love, love this book. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go to one that looks relatively easy, mm -hmm. you know, like one that says beginner. Yeah. And, but like the written stuff is, mm -hmm. it's still super confusing mm -hmm. to me. So I think as I do more of this based on video mm -hmm. tutorials yes. and then compare it to what the written mm -hmm. thing is saying, yeah. I might understand it more Definitely, because it's still just a different language. It is to me too. But yeah. I can't tell you how freaking excited I was about this. Like I almost sent you a picture last sure. night, oh, but I thought I'm going to see you today. It's okay. But I was, I was like a little kindergartner. Yeah. I was so proud of this. It almost makes you want to frame it. Like <laughs> there's been times I've crocheted things and I'm like, I just want to put this in a frame. Like it's artwork. It's this so is my, pretty. this is my first one that I've changed colors yeah. and you start doing a circle yeah. and you turn it into a square. Yeah. So Tell me again how impressed you it's are. Magic. It's exactly. magic. It's really magical. And you crocheters are just shaking your head like, oh my God, you're such a child. But Well, I'm sure they remember the day. Well, that, that was it. Is, started, this yeah. reminded me of like when we first started knitting yeah. and we were learning. Totally. It was like so magical. Your world just is like, your mind yeah. is blown. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember those days. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like, I mean, your first pair of socks you yeah. knit, you think the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure someday I'll look at that and be like, well, that is so wonky. What the hell did I do? Oh, but I think that's the right side. It's way. pretty. But it so, yeah, great. yeah, I think it, it's all going to come together just very slowly. Yeah. And, and that's fine. That's fine. We're not in any rush. You know? No, exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. Yarn does not very expire. Cool. Thank <laughs> God. Yeah. Oh I mean, there gosh. might be a shelf life, but yeah. So what else? Oh, that's it for I you? Just for... Me. Oh, well, I did finish this. I, oh. I, um, yeah, I spun this. This is, uh, cool. It's super duper soft. That means you pulled out your spinning wheel. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hand painted combed tops, 100% baby alpaca. Uh, the color pin Pinot Noir, you know, from upstream alpacas. They're on Etsy. I suppose I should be writing this. So, down. what I did was, um, this is the color, not the, I mean, okay, so that's it. I don't know how many yards. I didn't even try because I was just trying to get off the wheel. So I should have measured. This stuff here is just what was left over on my wheel. And so I went ahead and spun it, this stuff here. It matched so yeah, good. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, I don't care. It'll be a couple stripes of that. But it is super soft, super soft. So I washed it, thwacked it, you know, all the fun stuff you do with yarn. And uh, I'm getting quite a collection of hand spun. So part of me is like, I need to like do Would you ever do that... that uh, what was that one? The shift. Would you do the shift? Yeah, I totally would. And I thought of that. Um, yeah. The shifty. Is it the shifty sh shawl? Or are you talking about the sweater? Because I think there's a sweater and a shawl, isn't there? And a cowl. And a cowl. Yeah. yeah. All kinds of stuff. So yeah. yeah, one of those I think would be great. <laughs> 
Um, I'd have to see if all the colors go Well, they together. were popular a couple years ago. Yeah. And people were using that one, that... Yes, expensive stuff. Yeah, that really expensive yes. stuff. Spin cycle. Spin cycle, yeah. Which is beautiful, but it's so expensive. So this is definitely... Would be way more affordable. But anyway, I think it turned out pretty. I My wheel, I lost a lot of yardage because I was spinning and my wheel was just... I was having to work too hard on the pedals. And Bob was like, maybe it needs to be oiled. So he got the oil out, oiled it. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with my wheel? Like, and eventually I looked here. It had wound around oh, somewhere no. in, to where I couldn't see it head on. I had to like look to the side and had spun around. I tried getting it off of there, unwinding it. It was just a tangled mess. So I ended up having to get the scissors uh -huh. out and cut it all off. Oh, no. So there was tons. I don't even know how many oh. yards I lost. Oh. Yeah, it's not soft. Wow. Super soft. Nice. So I lost a ton of yardage, but I was like, oh, well, you know. Yeah, what are you going to do? Usually with, with hand spun anyway, I use it in a project and, you know, bits of it. I, I mean, love so, that. It's so yeah. pretty and like yeah. you said, super soft. Super soft. So anyway, I have, I have more fiber on the wheel now. Um, but yeah, I lost a ton of yardage. I don't know how much. So I think that's why I was discouraged and didn't even try to measure oh. how much I had because I was yeah. like, I was screwed. I definitely didn't get the whole four ounces worth, but it's okay. So my wheel, I went through it and kind of cleaned it up and vacuumed it and got dust off, bought it, oiled it. And wow. so now it's working. It's Good. Working great again. But, um, so yeah, I was glad to get that off the wheel though, because it had been on for quite a while and, um, I've got so much not so much fiber I mean, compared to my yarn, but I have a lot to where I'm like, oh, that's a good fall color. That'd be pretty to be on the wheel during the fall. So let's get this. Ne this next one I'm doing is the one that Andrew Mowry had, had mentioned that I told you guys about last time. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's just white. So I have oh. that on the wheel now and I might ply that with a colored, you know, oh, mix it in yeah. with something else. We'll see. I don't know. I might just want a neutral. It's nice white, to have. You know? Yeah, that really yeah. is nice to have a white. Yeah. So cream we'll see. Or yeah. So that was all my finished projects and what I've been working on. Cool. Well, that's all I've got for working on. Um, something yeah. that you said made me think of something. Hmm. Imagine. That. Oh, like your wheel situation. Yeah. Uh, is like knitting. You've got your needles dedicated to it. That's another thing that's kind of cool about crochet mm -hmm. is you can take that hook. You're not, your hook's not committed to a project. To a project. Yeah. So. Well, and to go buy a hook from, you could go to Michael's or anywhere and find a decent hook. You know what I mean? I feel like needles, it's more particular, you know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you <laughs> like the fancy needle or the hooks. What do you think? But I mean, I, I can just go to Michael's and pick up a nice hook and feel like I spent, what, you know, less than 10 bucks and I've got more, you know, because I do have multiples of certain ones of hooks, but um, I don't know. I just feel like it's more affordable and more easily accessible to get that than a good set of chow, you know, something that yeah. we like that you have to go order and... But never mind, because <laughs> I'm sure you've ordered a whole set, haven't you? No. Oh, not yet, because um, we'll talk. Okay, okay. We'll talk. It's coming. <laughs> it's in the works. Oh, I'm doing research. You're doing research. I do love beautiful um, crochet hooks. Though. But I am dying over here. Why are you dying? One little moment at a time. What? I am looking at that mini skein set that you have know, there, and I just want to freaking steal it from you. I know. This is I. This is the one that I was on the fence on last <gasps> time because I wanted it. How so could you badly. be on a fence? About I was that. on the fence. I wanted it, but she was out of them. So Does she have more now? She might. I think I had to pre-order this because I need more. I know. Well, this is their Les Mis set, and you know how much I love Les Mis. Yes, and that's probably why I because I remember seeing that and I hate it, so I didn't oh. even look at. it. But those colors are killing yes. me. So this is Nettie McCurley. Oh. I'm wearing one of her necklaces. I just ordered her new necklace. Oh, the L. Yeah, I almost it's did. It's coming. Too. It's coming. Oh, Bob was like, so "Did you order something?" I'm like, "Um, maybe." What would you order? How, order how did necklace. he know? He's always checking to make sure, like, because. <gasps> We've had our credit cards hacked before, so he always checks. <laughs> Aren't those gorgeous? It's they are, nice yes, set. indeed. So gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Um, as soon as we podcasted last time, uh, I went on, I was like, yep, I have to order them. Okay. She has gorgeous yarn. Those are lovely. Beautiful. Yes. So that was one of my community services, but yeah. yeah sorry. I'm, you know, it's, I know I keep seeing minis all the time that I'm just like, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I had to shut gorgeous. myself down. I just it's sad. For it's a bad. While. I know I have a couple things coming. I have more Pearl Soho linen quill, and then I've got, I can't remember now. I need to look on my 
emails, but I have a couple things coming. Oh, just let it be a surprise. Yeah. It's Who, knows? So fun. Who knows? Who knows? Look, I did not order that. And then you open it. It's like, oh, surprise. sweet. I did. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember. I love it. It's so fun. I just like mail. I do too. I just love mail. mail. Yeah, too. exactly. It's not a Getting bill. Getting presents in the mail, so even fun. if you have to buy them yourself, it's really it's fun. It's the best. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. Oh, it's just fun. Yeah. yeah. So what is your community service? Okay. Idea? Well, first, before that, yes, I have a phone to pick. Uh oh. Okay, not really. I mean, I just wanted to use that saying. Okay. Because I don't pick bones. I do not I like don't. eating meat off bones. Okay. It... <sighs> yeah. Okay. And and to be fair, this mm -hmm. might be on me, but I have all these prizes that I either. Okay. Mm -hmm. The bone I have to pick might be yes. with myself, to okay. be honest, okay. because after we podcast yeah. um, and people would presumably be contacting me about their mm -hmm. prizes that they won, um, I had, I'm having to deal with my dad's, I'm his mm -hmm. executor, so his probate, so I had to do a bunch of stuff with that, mm -hmm. and then Renata was coming, so... Mm -hmm. It is possible that you've contacted me mm -hmm. and I somehow lost your... Yeah. So we're just going to go over this one more time real quick. And then if... So did you send out any of them? I think two. <laughs> well, and, and the two folks that won the gift cards contacted oh, me. Oh, nice. So I got Good. four... I think I've got four things sent. Okay. But that still leaves a few. Okay. And so it, it totally... Oh, yeah. Like, just looking at this, I remember now you did contact me. I don't know where the email went. I don't know where you contacted me. But, Darlin, not Paul. I'm. Re you're probably wondering, like, where's that prize? Because it's so awesome. Um, we're just getting it in time for next 4th of July. Well, you no, know what? That's what we're doing. Here's the thing. Is when we first started doing this whole thing, people were saying, you guys are going to totally screw this up. And we were like, no. And we did, and we did really good up until this point. Yeah. So but you had a lot going. You had Granada here. That's yeah, huge. I had, that's huge. Yeah. That's so, Darlene, I am sorry. Please. I might. I don't even know. I, I might try searching my email, but I can't. So I, I'll set that one aside because I do think... So do you want them to notify your email, not a comment underneath our YouTube? Well, I don't want anyone posting their address on the YouTube. Yes. So you can you can send me a direct message on Instagram if okay. we're on there together or send me an email to naughtynitwits at gmail.com. Okay. That'd probably be the best way. That, that would, It probably would be the best. Yeah. But I do apologize because okay, you're it's forgiven. me. You're it's forgiven. me. It's right. The yarn holder and other things. Janet or Jeanette H. Mm -hmm. And I, someone told me that last episode I didn't ever announce the second one of yeah. these. Yeah. Did you notice that? I didn't notice it, but comment? I mean, I saw the comment okay. and I was like, oh, shoot. So but. the other one did go out. So whether or not I announced this or not, um, Jeanette H, you won. And what I, I suppose what I could do is go back. Oh, I don't want to do that. I could go back to the episode and find everybody's comments that they won from. Yeah. And reply and tell them. But I, I mean, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. You no, I think the email me. is way easier. Yeah. Then you have it all right there. Yeah. That's way easier. Yeah. In one place and just the winners responding to you. I think that makes more sense. Again, this could be me. It's like, I don't know if, um, if the name's familiar to me because we had correspondence or because right. I know you won. But right. Sue Emmons, E-M-M-O-N-S. Mm -hmm. Sue, you won this. Mm -hmm. So... Please send me your address, and I'm sorry if you did already. We're losers. We admit it, you know. <laughs> it's all on it's me. okay. You don't have to go down on my sinking No, <laughs> I mean, it's bad. It's, I could help you, you know. That would be probably helpful. Well, I don't... It's not really something that two people in two different places could deal with. It, well, that would actually make it worse if people were contacting you and me, people, yeah. you know. True, true. Um, the crochet book and needles which mm -hmm. i want you to know i almost got into these needles uh -oh. these um, crochet hooks because i wanted to figure out some size stuff that's interesting i just noticed that they're double ended oh that's weird yeah that is weird interesting i, I don't think i've ever seen needles that are that way huh. ariel nathanson mm -hmm. if that's you honey mm -hmm. email get in touch with me mm -hmm. so we'll give it another I mean, especially since it's not your fault. it could be on me. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully by the next time we podcast, I'll have heard from everyone yeah. and connected the dots so that, you know. Um, 
put the prize with the right person and in the mail. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's just, you know, you get so many it's emails or so many whatever, just because, I mean, there's a lot of spam. There's a lot yeah. of this, a lot of that. And same goes with, and I feel just awful about this, but I know a few people had donated some money to us on mm -hmm. PayPal mm -hmm. to help with shipping and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I try so hard to, mm -hmm. you know, make sure I acknowledge it and thank you. Mm -hmm. But I have a sneaking suspicion that I missed one, mm -hmm. but I don't remember oh, for sure yeah. or who it would have been. Yeah. And I don't want to go in and like send someone a thank you again and yeah. that I've already thanked because then they'll be like, yeah, Sorry. you're so sincere. Yeah. <laughs> but right. we sincerely do thank you. Yes. And I really feel bad if you, if, if I, I missed didn't, you. If I, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but you know, you've probably been watching this a while, so it's probably not entirely shocking. <laughs> That we forget things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, it's true. It's true. All right, so that's that. I guess we could. Um, so I guess show... we shouldn't go do any more giveaways until we prove that we can get some. <laughs> Actually, like, well, oh, yeah, no, too it, much. Um, <sighs> yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna Next leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just had so many. Of totally. Them. Well, there's so much going on. There's I mean, it was on. a lot going on. Yeah. So it's not like it, you were just sitting around twiddling your thumbs. So yeah, you were busy. And even if I was, that, I mean, even if I had nothing else going on, that doesn't mean I would have done it right. Right. <laughs> that's true. You would have had more chance of doing it. Right. The odds would have been yes, a little more in my favor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we got some um, fun minis. Yes. Speaking of awesome minis. Heck yeah. From Mary, Gorgeous. whose daughters are the Happy Mermaid oh, Yarn Co. So pretty. Sparkly Sparkle. too. Sparkle. And I think this, this is a, there's a different way, I think some different way of dyeing them that they were doing. And really? I, I don't remember the details because I don't dye yarn, so it yeah. doesn't really stick with me. But it's gorgeous. Though. If I remember, they're called Solar different Surprise. Colors, well, same. I mean, they're kind of similar, but I don't know. The same, yeah. Lori and I were talking about that because yeah. she stopped, dropped something mm -hmm. by yesterday. You don't seem to have this oh, one. Oh, I don't have the blue. Right, right, right. You're right. And then I don't know because... Is that that that's one? That, a little more so mustard. then I don't have that one maybe. Okay, okay. But other you. than that, I do yeah. think they look. But then that one looks slightly different from this one. Right. So yeah, it could be from this. It's. I think that they're just. Um, I don't they're know. Uniquely tailored to each of us. I'm guessing that these are non-repeatable colorways. Maybe. Is my guess. Like I know anything. I don't know. Well, I just. Don't know I just see that on websites when I'm shopping. I sometimes know. it'll say non-repeatable colorways. They're so pretty. Well, is yours? See, yours is Solar Surprise number nine. Mine's number eleven. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it's from a different dye bath. Or different I just bath. don't know. But they're so pretty. They are Thank really you pretty. so much. Yeah, they're gonna be gorgeous. Fun. And gorgeous. if you wanted to, if you end up using them, well, mm -hmm. no, they're too similar. Never mind. What? Well, I was gonna say, if you're gonna use them for squares, we could mm -hmm. share them. Oh, that's true. But. That's true. They might be too similar. They might be. I think yeah. they are. They're, yeah. To me, they're almost exactly alike, yeah. except for that blue one, maybe. Yeah. But those are so pretty. Thank yeah, you thanks so much so for much. sending them to us. Those are gorgeous. And those oh. girl, you girls are dyeing up some really pretty oh yarn. I, I follow you on Instagram, and yeah. I see lots of That's pretty amazing. colors that you're coming up with. So fun. Well, now everybody's heading into fall and seeing all the pretty fall colors. It's really yeah. pretty. Really pretty. Although I, I still love pinks and stuff. I don't care what time of year it is. Oh, me too. They're like blue and pink. They're yes, constant totally. colors. They're, They're popular all year yeah, round. I at least in our book. Mm, they should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's beautiful. Anything else? For oh, you? yeah. Okay, but, go. No, yeah, but you probably have more, so you come on showing, now, girl. Come yeah. on now. Yeah, I'll drink I, my shake over I here. I don't think I really have all that much. Mm -hmm. I. I say as I pull over the chair that has all my but what I will show this is not my community service mm -hmm. this is from Beaver State Yarn mm -hmm. which the gal is Lori's niece really yeah oh so she How said that happen <laughs> well How did we not know that? a man and woman loved each other very much <laughs> Going into the birds and the bees. <laughs> yes. And anymore, you'd be considered some sort of tyrant for even saying that. Yes, so forgive yes. me for not being woke enough That's to right. actually ref say that it takes a man and a woman. That's right. Um, How did we not know this, though? I think like, she just started. Oh, she just started? Okay. Yeah. So I was like, why isn't Lori told us yeah. that? Okay. <laughs> She's been dying for years. <laughs> you guys would have loved her yarn. Yeah. <laughs> Um, don't That's get excited. Funny. These aren't for us. Okay. I know. I know. And I mean, it's a bummer because they are really pretty. They're pretty. They're, and, you know. and they're pink. I know. And they're sparkly. And they're sparkly. So really, they should be for us. But well, they that, know. that wasn't well, they an know. option. It wasn't an option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
No, because Lori, she sent it to Lori, mm -hmm. and Lori wanted us, if we liked it, mm -hmm. to show it yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, sure, and so she sure. brought it by yesterday. She's had it for a little while, but she's been gone and stuff. Do you have to so. give it back to her? I do. Oh my god! Doesn't that suck? Wow, but yeah. I ordered a skein. Oh god! Okay. Because I mean, it's it's, it's called great. ballet. Yeah. And it's uh, seventy twenty five five merino nylon stellina very pretty 462 yards mm -hmm. and i don't even know that you're getting to see how pretty this pink is it's very soft but it, it's too. just a, it is super mm -hmm. soft mm -hmm. it's a great pink i love it it's a really good pink yeah so anyway she is going to we're going to do a giveaway is she on etsy or yes she on, okay she is on etsy. yes beaver state yarn okay. on etsy um what was I gonna say? Oh, a giveaway. Mm -hmm. She's going to, well, we're hosting it and you're gonna comment, we're gonna keep this simple, you're gonna comment on our YouTube. Mm -hmm. But what we'd like to know is you can visit her shop and if you see something that you really like, tell us. But I think, we, Lori and I were talking, it would be kind of fun for people to give their input. Since she is a newer dyer, mm -hmm. like what kind of colors would you like to mm -hmm. see? Or what would you, you know, like, for me, it's always earthy colors. Mm -hmm. Like I like naturally kind mm -hmm. of colors versus the super crazy. Mm -hmm. I like color, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um, you know, ocean colors, things mm -hmm. like that. That that's if I was entering this giveaway, that's what I would say. I would love that's to see. That's a really pretty color. Yeah, what's that called? A biscot. Oh, that's yarn cafe. <laughs> I thought it was on Beaver State. Well, Yarn Cafe Creations also She's has nice yarn, too. But that's funny. Sorry. I went to... That's well, I favorited it, so let me show you. Well, I have it here. I oh, looked up Beaver, but I don't know why I didn't go to her actual oh, site. Like, yeah. I just want to go to her site. Yeah. That's There funny. you go. There right it there. is. Yeah, I feel like her ballet is prettier in person than it is on oh, the website. Oh, for sure. Definitely. I think so too. That's a pretty color. Is that the bitch eggs? I like that too. If it was just a little more, um, I mean, I like it, but I didn't order it because it was, I have one that looks very yeah. similar to that. Not that I don't have pinks that look like. Right. Well, actually, this is kind of a pink that I don't have because it's got some little speckles in it, but I think it could totally be a tonal. Mm -hmm. You know, like I wouldn't call it a variegated. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a neutral right there. Yeah. Oh, she's in Canby, so she's really close yeah. to me. Okay. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Fun. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Thanks for, uh, mm -hmm. well, say letting us borrow the yarn. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lori. It's kind of torturous. Mm -hmm. Poor Lori. She's going to be like, you guys can keep it. No. <laughs> yeah, we're not saying that at all. Um, just, just and like I said, I ordered a skein because mm -hmm. I I think it's very lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Okay, so that awesome. was something I showed. All right, well then, I had to go get more. Uh, I think these are still called Poonies. I don't know, which seems like such Poonie? a weird name to that's me. That's a very weird name. I know. Okay. You guys can correct me, but I think that's what at least they used to call them. But anyway, okay. this is from Something Wonderful Studio, and she's on Etsy. And it's my first time ordering from her, but I was just looking for these Poonies. Because I love spinning from these, because they're already, like, kind of split up. They're already, you know... Studio. So this is called, yeah, Something Wonderful Studio. And this is called Blissful. It's 100% Falkland wool, uh, three ounces each. So I got two of them, so it's six ounces total. But I just thought they were super pretty. So I don't know how I'm going to spin them yet. Part of me was like, oh, let me do stripes, you know. Um, okay, yeah, they're really pretty. But then part of me was like, oh, mixing them might be pretty too. So I don't know what I should do. How would you spin them? I don't, I don't even understand spinning, so... So like I could spin one bobbin okay. with this, then go to this, go to this, and then the next bobbin oh. spin the same order, and then when I apply them together, the pinks will be together. Oh. You know. So it would make a gradient. Yeah, yeah, gradient striping. Because I mean, to me, they they look it, yeah, enough. yeah. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. It wouldn't be like a. But I could, matter. I could mix them up though, and I could do a blue, and then do you know, I could oh. do that, and just keep them the same orders, and then have stripes. So, I see. you know, you can do it different ways. Huh. I don't know. Someone who spins needs to answer yeah. this for Leslie. So anyway. I, I like the colors, though. They're yeah, fun. I like the pinks. And, of course, blues, I think, are pretty, too. So I thought that was fun. So I'm anxious to get this on the wheel, too. But I want to do that white first. I just have lots of nice fiber. I'm anxious. I feel like once fall is officially here and 
and kind of get settled into somewhat of a schedule of what I'm doing for work. It'll be nice to kind of, I don't know, it'll be a nice mind just to zone out and spin, you know, so. Yeah, it'll be fun. Anything yeah. else? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Next. Next. Not that much, I mean. <laughs> Uh, but I hadn't showed anything yet because that was not even my. Mm. Uh, All right. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. So I joined Freckled Whimsies. Did you? She has a yarn of the month where I, it, you can get. Ooh, okay. Oh my God. I know, right? Yeah. That's amazing. I know. Bunny Hill. No, but guess what? Guess what? That you too so can adopt some bunny hills because oh, so she has this yarn is of the month where you can either get just the minis. Wow. Or every month you can get whatever the minis are plus a skein oh, of bunny hill. Oh my gosh. Or That's you so can funny. get a skein with your minis that coordinates with the minis. Wow. So, you, I mean, there's, or you can get it all or, you know, whatever. You can make different options. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I love that color. That is gorgeous. So, the way I have it set up, I think I have it on a reoccurring. Yeah. So, I could cancel it anytime, but mm -hmm. it, it is set up on a reoccurring so thing. Pretty. Every month, I will get a set. Sorry, you can see them better this mm -hmm. way. A set of minis mm -hmm. and one skein of Bunny Hill. Mm -hmm. Because what I was thinking is... This would make a fun one just to do the border. Oh, it's around, beautiful. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But so that was my original idea mm -hmm. was you know just get get these every month and get one of these mm -hmm. and then uh, and then use it. But then I was thinking these could be fun for that stripey blanket that I showed the crochet one that I yes, showed you on the yes, iPad. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, to just like use these mm -hmm. in that, mm -hmm. I guess at the end, this could be a border, but I, I mean, it's such a pretty color. So you're going to keep getting the same color yeah. every month by my choice, Oh, interesting. but I don't have to. Okay. Interesting. And I'm probably going to change that now that I think I'm not okay. going to be using Cause I was just thinking if I do another blanket, mm -hmm. like I'm doing those granny squares, mm -hmm. I could just be stockpiling these for a while every month to yeah. use. I don't know why I was thinking that. I just really liked it. But. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's like I have to have that color. <laughs> What's it called? It's just called Bunny. Bunny Hill. Bunny Hill. How do I find? Does she have like? That? I don't know, and I don't know if it's uh, just oh, part of her club. club. Okay, well, we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> It's just so pretty. It is really it's pretty. Like, it's not like I don't have pinks, but I'm no, like, that just has some I know. violets and then some other, like, it's, it's just it amazing. Is really pretty. It's so it's pretty. pretty. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, I don't know for sure. And then I also got her, uh, she had, so this one was, oh, this was April's. Um, she had an extra April, so I bought that. Mm -hmm. And then this was the one, and I love this one. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny, because this always happens to me. Yeah. I saw this one, I was like, oh, but I love those. Those are my favorites. Yeah. And it's beach. Of course. Uh, beach, please. Yes. I oh, don't like it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> cute. Uh, anyway, so that yeah. That's fun. So that would have been my monthly. So pretty. But again, oh, so good together. I bet this, I bet whatever skein she did that coordinates with these mm -hmm. minis would have been really pretty too. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I might have to change it. Or I might just go to just getting the I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So many because decisions. Because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. I know. I had a plan and then my plan has changed. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I think that stripey thing would be really fun. It would be fun, it would be very fun. And I really yeah. would like to do a blanket out of all one dyers. Like, yeah, that'd be fun. It would be kind yeah. of fun. And especially if it's one that you're doing a club mm -hmm. so I was and thinking, you like them consistently enough you know right. which hers just seem gorgeous like yeah i can't imagine any of them not at least being cohesive right exactly they seem even to if they're really different well. yeah um and it's okay if they are because i mean blankets yeah. are kind of yeah you don't have to have them all matchy matchy obviously but i also thought about that for the row one because mm -hmm. that would be fun too mm -hmm. although i don't know these are I would definitely, I think the row ones yeah. are 10 grams. Yes, I think so. And these are 20. I so. so I think for a blanket, if you're yeah. trying to do several, it might be better to go That's with. True. That's true. But maybe, I don't know. Scenes. I don't know. I'm going to have to just weigh it out and see. And these are just it. throwing everything off. I know, you know. I just love them so much. 
Minis are the new full skeins. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You already have your full collection of uh, full skeins. Now you got to have equal amounts of minis. Yeah. So does that mean we're not going to get our advent calendar this year then? You're going to be like, no, no I've been working on your on your advent calendars. Um, That's funny. A lot, oh, okay. actually. Okay. So yeah, you're getting your advent calendars. Okay. I thought maybe you'd start hoarding them. No, no. I'm not giving them and away. in fact, even. Even with as much as I'm loving them, I do still have like so many from years mm -hmm. ago. Different clubs we did. We had dyers for a while that we were, you know, dividing. Well, we weren't dividing them, but someone was. Yeah. I, I have so many. And I was thinking about at some point sharing some mm -hmm. uh, because I just feel like <clears throat> it's kind of overwhelming when you have so many. But then I was thinking the other day, like, as I was looking at all the yarn going, because mm -hmm. it kind of makes you feel like pressure you know mm -hmm. like but i was thinking no they're just like flowers they're just beautiful flowers right yeah. here in my house that don't attract exactly. bugs there's well, nothing wrong with them yes mm -hmm. exactly no shame i don't have to feel like i have to be doing something with it to enjoy it exactly because it's just there and it's pretty yeah totally no and i feel like you are uh moving forward with using a lot of like your full skeins and stuff. i feel like you're moving even forward, if i'm just them even down. if i'm just breaking them down exactly no but you're <laughs> yeah. still at least using them i feel like i have so much yarn on the shelf that's just sitting there and i i desperately want to use it but like when i told bob i was looking for um, yarn to do a sweater I said I just don't have sweater quantities of yarn so I said I end up having to buy more yarn because yeah. he was like do you need more yarn I was like for a sweater I do unless understand. I do a scrappy sweater right which I don't mind I love scrappy sweaters too but I'm just like I don't have sweater quantities I have yeah. one skeins of things and Me so too. I hate that though because it's like I want to use what I have Same. I definitely do so I just think everything needs to be striped, I guess. And, I think you so. Know? <laughs> yep. Striped forever. <laughs> Striped forever or crochet blankets or something. Yeah. I don't know. But these are the two patterns I bought. Um, Carpino by Carol Feller. That's Carol, interesting. Her, yeah. C-A-R? Yeah. P-I-N-O. Okay. That's what I want Yeah. It's ask. a lace front raglan pullover. Oh. So this is the one that I bought the linen quill for. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So and I bought it almost sweater. in that color. It's like a mustard. Oh, it's like okay. a mustard colored sweater. Um, Carol. Yeah, Carol Feller. So I think it's a Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn tweed pattern. Oh, okay. So um, I just I like mustard color, and so I thought I'm gonna order it in the mustard or order the linen quilt. I think it's gonna hang a lot nicer than this one does. Not that this one hangs bad. It doesn't at all. But I feel like this sweater is much more of a warm, thick rustic because I, I can't remember what yarn they used they probably used a Brooklyn tweed yarn which is which is more rustic it looks more form-fitting than you usually like well I can do it bigger you okay know, I can do a different size all right I'm not I'm yeah. not raining on your parade yeah see they used Targi Columbia wool so uh -huh. that's definitely more of a toothy type okay yarn so with me using the linen quill I feel like it's gonna hang better okay. looser you know um so anyway, that's what I bought for that. So I'm hoping I like it. I'll see. I hope I, you know. And then I bought Forager by Isabel Kramer. And I Isabel Kramer was one of those um, designers that years ago. I just loved everything she did. Yeah, I remember she that. Had, she was my style. I just loved all of her, you know, all of her patterns. And I still do. I mean, she's a great designer. So, but I just haven't knit anything of hers for a while. The thing that this one scares me a little bit is it has a Latvian, Latvian braid down the front. And I've never done that before. So that's going to be something to learn. Um yeah. I've never so done. So the cable, huh? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Not a simple cable. Oh, and you know what? I might even have it down the sides, too, oh, or geez. something. So. <laughs> so down we'll the sleeves. We'll see how long I last on this one. <laughs> but this one, it's funny because I was looking for yarn for this one, and I thought, oh, I've got my um, Plotilope. Oh, I have yeah. so much of that. And so, and I have it mustard color, too. So oh. now I might possibly have two mustard colored sweaters. Oh, goody. But I <laughs> know. But the one she used was, she used Nature's Luxury Town and Country Cashmere. So oh, I'm gonna, nice. I'm gonna Cashmere. Use, I know, yeah. but that's the thing. If I'm going to be using Botolope, which is very toothy and very thick, I'm just like, it's not going to hang It's not like going to have that kind so of So then thing. that's why I'm vacillating. But okay. am I even going to do this one yet? Because I, it's not going to look how I want it. So I think that's my main struggle with sweaters is I feel like I don't have the yarn, so then I have to find the yarn. But do I like... 
where do I find the yarn enough quantity not too expensive yeah I uh, like the color enough and it's the right feel and it's I don't know I, I'm wondering if that's part of it well and that's we'll an see. interesting perspective of do you like this is a personal preference kind of thing but mm -hmm. do you pick your yarn and then find the pattern right. to work with it and then get the appropriate amount right. of yarn yeah or do you I mean, obviously, you could do it either way. Yeah. I feel like I'm probably more, I probably tend to find patterns more to, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah. Because, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. I don't know. I could easily start that one and then not finish it and rip it out and find something else. And I feel like, too, I don't know, maybe my styles are changing in sweaters, too. Like oh, I, look at I would all, think yeah, so. Yeah, I look at all my sweaters, and it's like some of them I'm like, I still really like, and then, like, I love the Ranunculus. I love the Love love Note. Is that what it is? Yeah. Those are my favorite sweaters. And also my one by Amy, Little Taylor S, Dandelion and Dogwood. Hers, I can't remember the name of her sweater, the pullover, the, off, the creamy white one that I did for her, um, for a sample, not sample, but test it. Um, I love that one. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't Whitmore know. or something was it? Something? Yes, Whitmore sweater. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Good for you. Weird. I just get this random <laughs> stuff in my head. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> What'd you do yesterday? Uh, I don't have a clue. I'm no idea. What sweater from two years ago? It's Whitmore. <laughs> <laughs> Did I knit it? No. It's random. <laughs> random memories in her head yeah so we'll see but i know amy sent me she gifted me when sophie passed away which i had forgotten to thank her on here um she had gifted me her new pattern oh. it's a cardigan um oh. it's beautiful so part of me is like maybe i'll do the linen quilt with that i can't remember what oh. weight of yarn she called for though i need to look at it more but that was really sweet of her and so i thought oh, i could knit maybe that cardigan because i've been wanting to do a cardigan but then that one looks cool too but then it's to me it almost looks overwhelming so <laughs> I don't know. You mean like to wear it? Like, whoa, there's a lot going no, on. No, no, I would totally wear it. Oh, okay. It's just the process. Of oh, no, it's easy. Yeah. Except for the parts that I've been <laughs> confused about. <laughs> but that's me. You know? No, it's not you. Because when I was looking at it, I was like, uh, I'm glad the other people are helping you. Yeah. I don't know what I would do in that situation. Well, I would do the same thing you're doing. But yeah. yeah. Ask people for help. Ask people for help, yeah. Uh, so another thing I bought was I had to try, I had to try a... Leaky, 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 whatever. Uh, <laughs> crochet hook. Okay. Okay, so it's a smaller. So that's what I nice. used to do this okay. one. So you're sold on it then. You love it. No. <laughs> um, so it was interesting. Yeah. I I like the way the, the wood feels in my hand, mm -hmm. just like with the knitting needles. Um, it was stickier okay. than my furls. Okay. Yeah, it should be in here. My original furls that I bought is this one. Okay. And it's whatever this is, you know, the wow. silver stuff. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So I wanted to know wood. Mm -hmm. And also this is the ergonomical, you know, mm -hmm. and this is just a straight. Mm -hmm. So I was fine using this for mm -hmm. this, but it, it was kind of sticky, which I didn't okay. like. Yeah. And then when I picked this up again to do another square, I definitely liked how this felt in my hand yeah. better. So between these two, mm -hmm. this material and shape mm -hmm. versus this, I would definitely stick with this. Interesting. Now, Furls makes a wood mm -hmm. one in the same shape mm -hmm. that I could potentially try. Yeah. Um, wood where? So is it wood handle? The whole or thing. The whole thing is wood. Okay. So the problem with that to me might be <laughs> that it might be sticky. Like, because le these needles aren't generally sticky. Yeah. So I, I don't think that it was exceptionally sticky. Mm -hmm. I just think that it was just... Um, Do you think if it got broken in more, like worn more, like if it would maybe, like maybe yeah, be know. more slick? I don't know. I'll probably still try it, at least as far as like, because it's a little bit smaller than this one. Okay. I, I don't, is that like a 3.25? 3.50. 3.5. Yeah. Okay, so that's 3.5, and I think this is a 3.75. Okay. This is funny though, because this, this furls hook, it's not on here anywhere. That's so weird. I mean, yeah, that's... Yeah, why wouldn't they? Yeah. It'd be so easy to do. I mean, easy. I don't make this. Someone sense, told me to look 
like that it's supposed to be down here oh. i think is what they said well there is nothing there's yeah. just nothing on here that tells it's me so weird. and i don't i didn't create an account with them so i can't go figure mm -hmm. it out and it's not really like i tried measuring it and it's just not, i oh michael even brought up his calibrator is that oh, what you call it the I, cal something i don't know maybe something that pinches it and then gives mm -hmm. a readout mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I don't know i know it, it's like a three point seven five i okay. think is the closest that we could say that makes this is, sense yeah. yeah i mean that was the closest measurement that we mm -hmm. got but then i also ordered a four mm -hmm. in the furls um what do you call it it's it's, curl it or yes okay. it's uh resin resin okay okay and so I want, cause, so I want to try that because yeah. you've got the shape going, yeah. but it's a different material. Interesting. I just wanted to try different ones yeah, because yeah. All, it's all new to me. Definitely. What's the price point between this one and that one? Well, this one I ended up ordering off of Amazon, okay. which came from Anna's Gotta Crochet dot shop, and I haven't checked out her marketplace yet. That's okay. just who it happened to be from, and it was this was twenty two ninety five, mm -hmm. and I had to pay five fifty shipping, which I'm not used to having to do on Amazon. But oh, true, yeah. Anyway, so it ended up being twenty eight forty five, and I want to say these are probably like thirty something. Okay, and, so it's a little bit but more the thing expensive. is, is I I was just gonna order it from Furls, and mm -hmm. I was gonna order a couple things. But then I noticed that they said something about their moving or something, so shipping oh. was shipping was going to be delayed. Wow! I'm not into the delayed shipping thing, so I. <laughs> what coming from you hasn't shipped out prizes? <laughs> <laughs> That's different. I, know. It's just I am funny. not a business. I am not into waiting. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just funny. <laughs> okay, fine. Practice what you preach. No, <laughs> hypocritical a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time or the last. <laughs> uh, who asked you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So anyway, so I've got. I haven't tried this yet. So you still haven't tried a rub rubber handled? Um, no, I used to. I had an okay. Addy one. Okay. Um, the, I like the ones from Michaels that are just rubber, rubber, and then metal up top. And I it's love just straight. Those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really yeah. like. But I feel that. I know, but I almost think this would hurt my... I don't know why, but it seems to me like... But this is kind of a big hook, too. Yeah. So I'm just not used know. to a big base, well, you know what okay. I mean? Like a fat base like this. Oh. But I don't know. I've never I've never crocheted with a fat base like this. I've always had just this, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this one seems so skinny. It is. So I don't you know. know. Like after handling that, and they're not that different in size. No, they're just... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it'd be... I don't know. I'd be curious. I don't know if I'd like it or not. And what I like about the... Well, I guess that one does it too. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I don't know. It's all... Like I said, it's all a new... It's a new craft to me. Totally, so totally. I can't really speak as to what's best. No, but you're trying a lot of them, which is good. Because yeah. it helps you to kind of narrow down what you like. So... And, and I'm not going to order any, like... I don't. I don't see myself needing a whole set of crochet hooks. I know. Roll your eyes because I'm going to no. end up getting them, and I will need them. Yes. So and uh, and I recognize that. So before I commit to one, right? No, I. Agree. I'm trying. Yes. You should. So you that should. I know yeah. Which. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which to buy a whole set of? Yes. No, I agree. With you. And then decide. Oh, I should have gotten the other one. Yeah. So the reason I got that size... Because it actually has the name. Why do they put a size on this I one and they don't put it on that? I know, right? I just, so funny. It's I don't very know. plain. It yeah. shows you right there what it yeah. is. It's like, what well, And I need one. that. Yes. Because I can't look at that and say... No. I like knitting needles. I can kind of... Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. And I'd still be wrong right. a good part of the time. So, yeah. So I'm excited to try that one. It just wants to come to me. I don't it, know. It's... Whoa. Oh. <laughs> You guys can't see what we're doing. Never mind. Uh, so I, I bought, I had pre-ordered the um, in the deep, uh, deep blue sea fade set Jeez. from Barnyard Dents. That was the mystery. You know, okay. like she posted the picture as inspiration. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that DK? This is DK. DK. Okay. And it's funny because she sent me a message after I ordered it and said, "Did you know you ordered DK?" <laughs> and I said, "Yes, I wanted yeah. DK yeah. because I had it in my head." Mm -hmm. That I was gonna do the Cardi, mm -hmm. <laughs> such a moron. <laughs> I think it's the Andrew Mowry fade Cardi. Okay, it's yeah. a DK weight. Okay, yeah. So this is what I ordered. Not enough. 
Close. Yeah, I don't remember I don't, how much that took. I don't but. know what I was thinking, but this isn't going to get me anywhere in the ballpark. <laughs> so I got to thinking, I could, yeah, I could supplement it with other colors and all that, but it, yeah, I'm not going to. I, think, really I love. Pretty. I know that's my gorgeous. favorite. This is just over it's the really, top really gorgeous. Pretty. I just need. I need all of this. Well, this one too, though. Totally that's that so one good. too. This is almost like the lighter version. Of yes, that. it's very very pretty. And then this one. That's you know, beautiful. it's going to go. Oh, yeah. And then that. So what yeah. I'm thinking of doing beautiful. are these. Ooh. Because it's, I mean, I happen, it's four rounds. And okay. so I I did each round in this one in a different color just so I could really see. Yeah. This was just a total practice, you know, experiment piece. But I was thinking, use this 4.0 hook mm -hmm. and do... Just mix these colors all up. Yeah. I mean, I can do them in different order. Definitely. And just do a yeah. whatever it ends yeah. up being. I mean, it could just be a wrap. It could totally, be a blanket. It totally. could be whatever. But I think that's what I'm going to do because then yeah. I wouldn't have to buy anything else to yep. go with these. I wouldn't have true. to try to match anything yep. with it. Or I mean, I know I could, but totally. yeah, uh, I think that would be kind of fun. Well, and I think the bigger needles you, or hook you go with and the thicker yarn you go with, the more you're going to be like, whoa, I can get some real this estate out, out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I can get yeah. this done a lot quicker than fingering weight or whatever. But yeah. Originally, be. when I started thinking about doing something crochet, some sort of crochet blanket or wrap mm -hmm. with this, I was thinking of finding one of the patterns, one of the crochet things that's like the shells. Oh, and stuff, yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, that'd yeah. be cute. But... I successfully did this mm -hmm. and I have to take this in baby steps yeah. and I don't want to like, Oh, well, I'll wait and save this till, right. because then it's just another stack of yarn. You'll forget what you even wanted to exactly. use it for. I mean, I do that. Yeah. So I do, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'll get these wound up and do a couple uh, with this size. Mm -hmm. That way I can try out this hook. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, I think that'll that's, be a good. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah. It'll be really, really pretty. Yeah. yeah. It totally fits in with the beachy theme. I mean, you'd love that. So yeah. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really pretty. That's awesome. Well, Michelle got me hooked on the row one thing, so she did it too. So we got the same colors, which when I sent you the pictures, I didn't know, like, I stupidly was like, I didn't know if this was like last month. Oh. So I was like, you probably have them. And then when you were like, oh, mine came today too. I was like, oh, shoot. I'd already sent her a picture and I was like, why did so I? So are the exact same colors? I don't know. I wondered. And I... Oh, and I didn't show a couple other squares that I did, but oh. so I wasn't sure because I mixed mine up. Oh. And so who are these by? These are by Ash and Bumble. Yeah, these are the same, aren't they? Okay. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay, so this is English Garden. It's beautiful. I love that. It's I so immediately pretty. loved that one, and so I did. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. I love how that works up. Ash and Bumble. Yeah, that's beautiful. I loved how they all just go together. They like, do. This is flowering cactus. They all, I mean, I, I love that about it because I feel like if I did want to put it with a project, I feel like they could all very well go together. Yeah. This is travel map. Oh, I guess I could show some too. You could. You could help me I out, help. Mary. You know, I could I participate. Always help you out. I know, pictures. right? No, this is on you now. This is pretty vintage I was going to pull that one up really too. That was that my one. That one kind yes. of, well... I was going to say kind of right that, but that doesn't, that's, um, that's oh. okay. So, that one. uh, copper penny, copper penny. Which one? <gasps> that one. Oh, that one. Yeah. That's pretty. Um, it's copper patina. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got that. Yeah. Climbing I thought you'd like this one a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. Evening star. I Evening sky. Oh, or is your star? Sky. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I got a star. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, climbing ivy. Yeah. An iris. Yeah. I think that's it. And then we'll golden that. honey. Oh, I thought you showed that one. Nope. Oh. Which I think is really pretty. This is kind it's of a gorgeous. similar color that I Your ordered. Mustard. Yeah, my yeah. mustard color. I love mustard. Okay. So anyway, Those that was great. fun. So that's, you get that every month and so I can start a collection of minis because I feel like, I feel like I'm down to the, the barrel of my minis. Okay. Ones that I don't love. Yeah. That I'm like, do I use it or do I have to use it? You know, and I hate feeling that way. So it's nice to have some new fresh minis to look at. Go. I just love that It's color. beautiful. It's beautiful. But I was so trying to cute. decide, do I want to use my row one minis mm -hmm. in with this? 
Yeah. Or wouldn't it be fun to just do all row? You know, yeah. you start thinking about this. It's like, Fifty billion blankets. I don't need all those different. I just want to well, like keep going probably with Well, one. and the thing is, you'd be the only one that would know this is a row one minis blanket. This and they're all different. Layer. They're you all different I mean? um, diets Diaries. anyway. Yeah. But I was thinking if yeah. I did one with that many, mm -hmm. because 10, right? You mm -hmm. get 10? I think was so. Was there 10? I think so, yeah. That sounds right. Uh, yeah. I think so. Is it? It looks like 10. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think it is. But okay. anyway, so each each strip of the blanket would be a different dyer. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of fun. That would be fun. But, you know, and I have plenty of this one left, so if I did decide to do that, mm -hmm. you know, I could, I just don't know. I, I know. They're just so fun. Well, crochet just throws in a whole new, a whole new, like, I want to say mess, but it's a fun mess. It's but it's like, do mess. I knit with this? Do I crochet with this? Yeah. Do I do a blanket? Do I do a scrappy sock? Do I do, I mean, exactly. it just opens up a whole bunch of possibilities that one too, yeah, which is fun. super bright wow yeah uh, not it's gonna definitely stand out in that blanket but i don't care and i mm -hmm. i think putting the border on it will tone it down oh, a yeah. tad yep and uh but just I, a tad <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it'll be fun it'll be okay you pop of color i have some i have some pops in here oh, yeah, that yeah. it won't be it's not like no. it's gonna super stand out no as, you know it's true no that's what i like about yours i feel like it's very like eclectic. boho eclectic yes. i like that though i like that look yeah it looks really pretty that's awesome do you have anything else nope that's it okay so i also i don't know why i did this how many times have i said that's that? all right we don't know why we do most things i but, know oh my god so you know why because i on instagram oh i follow gosh. ravenswood fiber co mm -hmm. out of canada and they post these beautiful pictures oh. of this yarn. Yeah. What and are you supposed to do, you know? You can only resist for so I long know. and so much. Yes. So this is a new beginning, is the colorway. And it's 7525 merino silk. So that's what this one is. And of course, no, and I was, you know, I was thinking this would make beautiful granny square. Oh. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> Granny squared me now. I don't know. This is a bakery is stop. Gorgeous. I, I love the paleness of that pink. Isn't it oh my so gosh. pretty? It's so like antique. -y. Yes, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh. See, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with these yet, but either of these could be slipped into any project. <laughs> be great. It's so funny that we think we'd be very particular. It's like, it could go any. It could do any, anything. It could do anything with it. You know, exactly. just sit on the shelf and be beautiful. And know? that's. Primarily, it's job uh, in life right now. It's just to look pretty. Yes. Oh, so, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just friends with them now. Had to do so that. Had to, <laughs> had to their... get some more random skeins of yarn. So what's that made out of? What's that? This what one is just is merino. This merino a, nylon. A bakery or? stop. Actually, yes. It she is. has merino cashmere nylon too. In this base, in this color. I don't know. Because she just, they just listed okay. the bases. Well, I think I. I think if they'd have had it in this mer silk, I would have got it. Oh, she'll tell you. If you nice. She'll tell you if you can get them in all bases. Oh, okay. so that's nice. So then you kind of know. I think that when I ordered these, I just took what I could get. Okay. Because I really I liked the idea of both bases. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm always going to prefer one that has silk or exactly. cashmere. Exactly, you like that. Yeah. I do. Well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I, don't know. It's I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't yes. like that? Yes, it's beautiful. They've got some pretty yarn. Yeah. Fun. Fun, fun. I'm picking up Keely from Hawaii. Uh, not from Hawaii tonight. She's coming home from Hawaii tonight. So You're going to the airport tonight? Yep. Okay. Picking both of them up. So it's going to be a lot of driving day today. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Home. What time are they flying in? I think like 9 Oh, so you can't like... I mean, you could hang out here till then if you want yeah. and hit it on the way back. But you make me food. But I, I would, you know. That's okay. We'll head home and and then just head back to the Of course, you guys going to the airport is, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, it's not bad. We had to have Renata to the airport by 5 a.m. Yeah. on Friday. So we had to, you know, we got up at 3, oh, left gosh. here by 4. Yeah. Because. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to pull up and pick him up, so. That's yeah. all you can do anymore. Yeah, you can't. I wanted mm. to go in so bad. Mm. Like when we picked her up, I was totally going to go in, but yeah. I was wearing a t-shirt that Michael told me I'd probably get my ass kicked oh, if boy. I went inside. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't. Um, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Um, I did get out of the car though, and a, a younger gal told me that she really liked it. So mm. I was I was impressed nice. that a younger person nice. was on board okay. with it. But, um, nice. <laughs> and then and then taking her we just dropped her and that was better because i you know yeah. it's you gotta just drop and go because mm -hmm. she's got to get on with her life yeah 
and she's happy. I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited for yes. everything she's got going on. Yeah. So like exactly. I was telling Leslie, you know, I tried to go in the military mm -hmm. when I was young and I couldn't because of an old injury to my mm -hmm. arm. So she's, and I didn't try to push her into the military right. or anything. But she's getting to go down this path that had been closed to me. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so I'm going to get a glimpse of it totally, through her totally. eyes. And mm -hmm. it's just really exciting. Well, when your kid's happy doing what they're doing, it just makes you feel like, okay, yes, I'm sad, but yeah. they're, they're happy. Yeah. And that's all you ever want for your kids. Right. So it's like if they're happy and they're doing On a happy do, trajectory, they're yeah. not happy, you know, shooting a parrot right, or something. Right, right, exactly. They're on, in a positive yeah. environment doing good things. So it's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. We're proud of her, so that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. So Well Yeah. That's that's all we got that's for this got. time. Yeah, yeah. Um oh I did pull out my because I was I thought I had a big refill of Winter's mm -hmm. Bliss for my big tin. Mm -hmm. But I just have a little one. So I put Aww. it in there anyway. But I thought, oh, I should remind everyone that we have yes. an affiliate link in mm -hmm. our show notes should you want to order from them. Mm -hmm. Um, Amazing stuff. I they do. Love it. They do. Love it. I like their stuff a lot. So many products, too. So yeah. That's the best part. It's like you can find something for everything. Your feet. For your feet. I like use the feet stuff a lot, mm -hmm. too. Well, yeah. I just went and got a pedicure yesterday because oh. um, Libby, it was my sister's birthday. So oh. we went and got pedicures, and I haven't had a pedicure in forever. Oh, I actually, years. like... I actually went and bought one of those tub things that you can soak your feet oh, in yeah? and stuff and bought Epsom salts yeah. and stuff because my heels get so bad in the summer yeah. because I'm always wearing open-toed heeled shoes in the summer. And so that's helped tremendously this What does that summer. do for them? Like the you Epsom just soak, salt? Yeah, you just soak them in hot, you know, or whatever. Well, temperate. I know that would feel good. Like, yes. So I get the hot water, but what does the salt do? Um, I don't really know. Seasons it, it well. Well, I think it helps soften, I think, because okay. depending on what's in the Epsom salt, like I've gotten lavender and some other stuff, Epsom salts that have different stuff in them. I think it's supposed to help soften. Okay. But I just feel like after they soak, then I can scrub them with oh. the, whatever that pumice thing is, and yeah. it gets your heels looking better. And then I lather them like crazy with lotion before I go to bed. So like I use that. Yeah. Their, their, their stuff. Their balm their stuff. stuff and stuff. Oh, for feet's sake, you know. Yeah, so, yes. good job. So, um, but going to get the pedicure yesterday, I didn't feel as embarrassed because I felt like, okay, my heels don't look as bad as they have in past summers. And we've had such a hot summer that of all summers, I was like, I'm glad I have that foot soak thing because they would be horrible. So is it one that heats the water and bubbles? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I should get one of those. Bubbles. And it, they say it has massage, but it's one of those massages where you have to move yeah. your feet. You know, so it's not <laughs> you got to work you for it. you got to work for that <laughs> massage. But it's still nice. At the end of the day, I'll just sit and do it. And I feel like it does help my heels tremendously. So Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I'm Yeah, nice Renata that. had asked me when she was here if I wanted to go get a pedicure. Mm -hmm. I was like. No. Yeah, usually I tell my sister no also, but I was like, well... I used to get them all the time. Yeah, um, yeah, and I love them. Like, after I came home, I was like, oh, it's nice having someone else do your feet <laughs> instead of me having to soak yeah. my feet, scrub them, put them lotion on. You know, it was nice, so it was, it was, we had a good time. It was cool. Fun. Well, that's good. It's a fun It's a fun activity to go do. It is, it is, and she enjoys them, you yeah. know, being a mom of... Six yeah. kids. I'm not opposed to them in general. It's just my feet are just so bad right yeah. now. It's like, uh, yeah. I, just, <laughs> I know. I hear you. Oh, I hear you. Of anyone. I know. <laughs> so. uh, and we're supposed to get more hot weather next uh, week. Yeah, we're totally oh, we're dreading the next week. Yeah, but it's not going to be fun. We don't like it. Nope. I don't like <laughs> it hot. We've had some drizzle. And mm -hmm. in fact, we actually had real rain yesterday mm. but it was still warm so yep. it was very muggy yep. and um but it was still nice to hear that mm. rain coming down yes. and yes it's yeah. almost like you can just hear the grass and the flowers thank saying, you thank you yes. <laughs> yeah because we don't water our lawn or anything in the you know we're on a well and yeah. even if we weren't on a well that's well when we lived in gladstone mm -hmm. water is just expensive mm -hmm. and and when we lived on Colina Vista, we had the pool that we were mm -hmm. dumping money into. Yeah. And I still water, but I try to water in the evenings. But some evenings I forget or I just am busy doing We water stuff. our plants and our trees. Yeah. You know, but. As far as grass. Yeah. yeah. I try to sad. water the grass, but then Bob's like, why are you doing that? It's yeah. a waste of time. <laughs> I'm like, I just like to feel like I'm. I don't know. It's, I'm weird, but I just think of the grass as a living thing. So I just it want to is. feed it. I want to give it. I think I just, I feel bad because. <laughs> You know, you, and uh, maybe I just shouldn't listen, but you know, you hear about how there's all this water shortage I know. and stuff, and so I feel like 
Well, they've made me feel guilty. Like, it, you know. Um, me too, but we haven't gotten that warning yet that we have to cut down on water yet. I guess my mom and Malala, they have. Oh. Like, they can only water between this time and this time. Which really, you shouldn't water. I mean, there's only certain points it's of the true. day that you should you water. shouldn't water midday when it's super hot, you know. But, but, yeah. It's always, well, we don't want to get all. But it's like, they always want the common person mm -hmm. to make all these cuts and it's usually a celebrity telling mm -hmm. you to do that. Mm -hmm. And yet you look at their lifestyle where they right. have the fountains yes. and the pools. And that's like, huge, huge why don't you guys cut down on some yeah. of your consumption? <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's what would really make a difference. That's true. That might make them more of a dent. I could have world. a green lawn if you would just <laughs> yeah. stop, you know, it's whatever. True. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And my yard's not big, obviously. I mean, not obviously, but it's not big. So <laughs> it's like, it's not much to water, but it takes me, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes to water all of it. But, but I try not to overwater. I'm not one of those that like sets up a sprinkler and has we, it on for an hour. Oh my gosh. When we lived in Gladstone, we had the cutest, mm. uh, what was it? It was like a, I think it was a tractor mm. that you hooked up to the hose. Oh, cute. And then it would move oh, gosh. along the hose That's and funny. be water. It was adorable. <laughs> I've been perfect out here. I know. <laughs> oh. yeah. It was foreshadowing the life. You exactly. Were going to have. If I only knew how much Michael tractors was, Michael were... was subliminally. He was. Putting, he was conditioning putting, me. Conditioning yes. you into wanting to move out to the country. Yeah, Renata, I guess, mm. told her dad the other day that, that I've changed quite a bit because <laughs> she had asked me if. She asked me something about whatever. It was about showering and doing laundry and stuff. And I was like, oh, go ahead and shower. I'll do the laundry whenever, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And she's like, she never would have said that before. Wow. I was thinking, what kind of tyrant was I? <laughs> you know, I mean, what What do you mean I would have said that before? Would yeah. I have really cared? Yeah. I don't remember that. Interesting. Maybe. Interesting. It's funny what our kids remember. And oh, we're like, uh-uh, I wasn't that way or I didn't do that. And, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> They all remember it differently. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice to see you guys. I can't yep. think of anything else to share with you at this particular moment. It's going to be after we stop recording that I remember the things. They just need to sell this so that I can uh, buy it. So Freckled Whimsy needs to get on there. Well, you can. You can. I tried to go on there. I didn't okay. see it. So I don't, well, know, I don't know if they're selling it. I'll school it. you. I'll think. tell you how to do it. All right. Give me the down low. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I, the I need a hookup. You know? I know how to hook up with yeah. anything online that needs to oh. be purchased. <laughs> yeah, don't give me that. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, I hope you guys have a good couple of weeks. Yeah, and oh. we should see in a couple. Yeah, we should instead see instead of three weeks. or four. Who knows? Yeah, but it'll probably be two. Yeah. So awesome! Happy knitting and hooking. Yeah, and yeah. cross stitching and quilting and all the things that people do. Oh, spinning! spinning. Totally yeah, spinning. spinning. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Alrighty, bye. Bye.